What's up, everybody? I missed you guys so much, so much that I am very thankful to see you guys all here. We are starting Season 12 off with a bang. We got a hype train rolling level 5. I don't think we've ever had a level 5 before. That's pretty awesome. So thank you to everyone that uh, got some subs there. That's super cool. Thank you so much. And the subscribers, welcome back, pet. I welcome your entire crew, everyone that came with you. I know it's been a long time since you departed our shores, but welcome back. We have a lot of new faces coming from the east, joining us in the west. So let me officially welcome you to the War Report. This should be a good one, I hope. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think about the intro video. I hope it wasn't too long. It was a little long, and I was kind of wishy-washy about it, but I thought it all tied together really well. So, this is battle number one, Saturday, June 11th, 2022. I'm your host, Vaglada of the Gashkia tribe, and this is the War Report of Cloudwing Valley. First week in the news here, we have a couple events coming up. First up, June 20th is when Anadolu opens. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for that. Going to head on south, capture some land. On July 11th, the Varangian Guards join the fight. Now I played these on PTS and they are a ton of fun. I cannot wait to get these these units. They're a ton of fun. And then Monday, July 25th, that is when Turoveros becomes attackable. So be sure to lock down some land and get ready for that siege because it's going to be coming. Now I don't have any alliance changes being it's the first week of the season. Everyone reshifted alliances anyways. But we will look at the alliance lineup. So here you go. This is the alliances of Conquer's Blade right now. So we have Yellow Turbans on top with 3,300 total prestige. Seal Dynasty, 3,150. Revenant, 1,350. Rivendell, 1,250. Vagabonds, 1,050. We have Hibernia with 900. No Evil with 450. Marked of Cain with 300. Sewer Management Department actually has some. I need to figure out why Austerian Legion isn't pulling it. I don't know if it's because they're the number two house and Rent Dynasty didn't exist at the time that I did this. I will figure it out before next stream, but they got a lot of points. They actually own two castles and two town, uh, villages. So I will fix your numbers. Don't worry. Triumviratus, Black Queen Guard, and Solarity came in at zero, but I don't. I wouldn't rule them out. They're going to come back strong. Just wait. Holy crap, this is a lot of subs. Thank you. In any case, let's go ahead and cruise on over to the Borderlands. So this is the blank slate that we had in the northern borderlands at the beginning. Taking a look at what flipped. There you go. It was very hot and heavy up there. Whole lot of stuff up there. Taking a look at the battles. See if it all fits on one page. It's always a challenge that first week when everyone takes all the things. So Radiance gained a fief. Unforgotten gained a fief. Hurt gained seven fiefs. Austerian Legion, four fiefs. First Order, six fiefs. Odin, two fiefs. I team, four, four fiefs. Black Hand and Odd, oh, two. Goshkia, two. White Wing Watch, one. Yellow Turbans, the meme house, with one. And Goshkia Dub, with two. Jumping on down to the south end. Oh, There's victory. the start. And here's the finish. Yep, there's a whole lot of things going on down there. Taking a look at the land grab. We saw Macedon gain 13 oh, properties. Victory! Here picked up two. Sephira picked up three. Yellow Turbans, the meme, picked up one. Radiance, three. Partisans, four. Now this is a very oh, interesting victory! section of land here. This is where the crossroads is going to be between Anadolu, Ungavaria, and the Borderlands. So it'll be a highly trafficked area down there in the south. Should be a wicked good time. Taking a look at the oh, houses victory! of the Borderlands. We have the Tyrant's Army, which currently holds 10,650. Macedon with 2,400. First Order with 1,500. Hurt with 1,350. Oh, Radiance with 900. Austerian Legion with 900. Partisans with 600. I-Team with 600. Sephira with 450. Here, 450. Odin, 300. Unforgotten, 300. Goshkia Dub 300, oh, Yellow Turbans 300, and Goshkia 300. We also have Black Hand and Nod with 300, and White Wing Watch with 150. Taking a look at the Prosperity, it is currently sitting at 51%. We've actually oh, had some people victory. upgrading things today. I mean, go figure. First week, you know, a few things got upgraded. I think it's all cohort owned at the moment, though. So uh, people are upgrading it in uh, prelude to the things to come. But it, we did raise one, I think, two fiefs got up so the prosperity rating currently is 300 just a tiny bit over where it began Huzzah! currently free houses own 81 percent 
legions own 19 percent average fort level is two average town level is three average village level is one um, we're looking at bridia at rank six that's probably the best place for your fief questing goals if you need some good honor for fief quests that's where you head it's so rank six has plenty of bonus with it um, everything else is pretty much where it began we're going to see it develop over the course of the season and i'll make sure to track all the progress let's go ahead and jump on over to ungavaria the other half of the world that was open tonight so here's the land of ungavaria there's where we began and here's where we ended surprisingly it was a lot less land taken than i imagined so uh but we, we did see some stuff get taken um nazgul gained five new fiefs we saw gondor gain three new fiefs vigilantes one new fief warborn four new fiefs and nemesis three new fiefs taking a look at the houses of ungavaria we have the cohorts which I don't believe are open yet. I think it's still another week out before they'll open and the cohorts will flood in. Nazgul was 750. Warborn was 650. Gondor, 500. Nemesis, 450. And Vigilantes, 250. Taking a look at that race for the capital. Currently, nobody yet has the necessary amount of influence to be able to siege that capital. So I will also keep you apprised of that situation. Now, looking at the Ungavarian regional prosperity, we're currently sitting at negative 50. Uh, that can be expected with the first night being mostly sieging and taking things and downgrading things. Uh, so we see free houses owning 31%, legion owning 69%. Still a lot of land out there up for grabs. So if you're looking for land, that might be a good place. Um, starting prestige with 22,400, currently sitting at 22,350. Negative 50 prosperity, fort level of 5, town level one, 3, village level is 1. Uh, currently, Salty Var is your big fief questing destination if you need some honor or EXP. Reseji is also ranked 4 as a village. That's pretty cool. Alright, so next up, let's go ahead and give away some prizes. We're going to give away a beginner's bundle tonight. Not entirely sure what's in it. It just is labeled beginner's bundle so hopefully something good and will help you get started on your uh, little claim to fame here i figure right now is a very good time to donate a beginner's bundle and get uh some new players some loot who knows maybe even some old players some loot we'll see all right giving it a minute here go ahead raffle it up Alrighty, let's go and roll it. Alright, Meathead. Thank you. Thank you so much for all them little uh, subs there. I guess you get a beginner's bundle. Congratulations. Alright. Let's go ahead and move on. I'll hit you up with the code after the stream. Next up is Top Builders. Now, being nobody's built anything yet, we don't really have Top Builders. But there's the Top Feast currently sitting on the board. We have the rank six salty var, Chris uh, and Thounulus. Yeah, good luck pronouncing that one. It's down south. Astyanopolis, Mar Marsakota, Bridia, all rank six. Those are all your top fief quest destinations. You can't get south yet, so scratch those off the list. All right. So for the fun stuff, top gains and losses. Nobody lost anything tonight. That's a good thing, right? But we have a bunch of winners. You're all winners in my heart. So tonight we have Mason on with 13, Hurt with 7, First Order with 6, Nazgul with 5, Partisans with 4, I-Team with 4, Australian Legion with 4, Radiance with 4, Warborn with 4, and Gondor with 3. Jumping over to the top 10 houses, sitting on top is Macedon of the Yellow Turbans, 2,400 total war score. We have Level of 2, Prestige of 2,400, Property Value of 110 Triumphs. Dresden is leash, population is 100. Coming in at second, we have, click, First Order, a Seal Dynasty, 1,500 total war score. We have level 2, 1,500 prestige, 65 triumphs, Tong Tong is a leash, and population is 98. Rolling in at number 3. Going to kick this off, there we go. Hurt of Seal Dynasty, 1,350. Level is 2, Prestige is 1,350, 
Property value of 65. Your easy kid is a leash. Population is 99. Coming in at fourth place. Currently sitting there, we have Radiance of Yellow Turbans. 900 total war score. Level 2. 900 prestige. 50 triumphs. Hawkeye is a leash. Population is 95. And in fifth, we have none other than the Elstarian Legion, which, as I said, for some reason is just totally jacked and broke. I don't know why. I will fix this. I don't know what's wrong with it, but we'll fix it. You have 900 war score. I'll, I will see to it that it works next time. But you guys did great out there. You guys got a good chunk of land. And in sixth place, we have Nazgul of Rivendell. 750. Level 2. 750 is your prestige. 25 is your triumphs. Lico is the liege. Population is 80. And coming up in 7th, we have Warborn of Revenant, 650 total war score, level 2, 650 prestige, property value of 25, mandatory is the lead, and population is 98. For those unfamiliar with the war score here on Cloudwing Valley, that is an accumulative total of all of your pros or your prestiges. So as the season progresses, that number gets bigger. In 8th place, we have Partisans of Agavons, 600 total war score, level 2, prestige to 600, property value of 20. Liege is Argalia. Hopefully I said it right. 76 is the population. And in ninth, we have the new I-Team. 600 total war score, level 2, 600 prestige, 20 triumphs. I-Secret is Liege, and population is 40. Taking on the Tyrant Army all night. All right, and rounding up the 10th place, we have Gondor of Rivendell, 500 total war score, level 2, prestige 500, 20 triumphs, Esmeri is a leash, and population is 91. This breaks us down to our final top 20 board. There we go. So in 11th, we have Sephira. In 12th, we have uh, Nemesis. 13th is here, Gashki Dove, 14th, Gashki 15th, Odin 16th, 17th is Black Handed Nod, 18th, Yellow Turbans, 19th, Unforgotten, and Vigilantes rounding up in 20th. Now let's jump over to the Alliance Movers and Shakers. Tonight we can see Yellow Turbans, the actual Yellow Turbans, took the most fiefs with 17 fiefs. Seal Dynasty was close on their heels with 14, Revenant with 8, Revendale with 8, and Vagabonds with 7. Next up, the Alliance Standing. In number one, we have Yellow Turbans, 77,120 war score. That is not right. I will fix it. Not sure why it gets all weird. Prestige is 3,300. Property value of 230. Population is 288. Radiance has 900. Prestige, uh, Mason with 2,400. And Midway Kings with zero. In second place, Sealed Dynasty. Again, those numbers aren't going to be correct. Sorry. Um, and we even got murder tagged on there. So murder renamed Unforgotten, if you didn't know. So First Order is in charge of this alliance with Hurt and Unforgotten. Prestige is 3,150. Property value of 420. Population is 330. And in third place we have Revenant. 1,350 war score. That almost looks right. Uh, and then we have Prestige 1,350. Property value of 55, population is 296. Vigilantes is the lead with Warborn and Nemesis at their side. Alrighty, in fourth we have Rivendell. Again, not right numbers. 1,250 prestige, property value of 120, population is 334. Gondor is the lead, lead with Nazgul and Mirkwood at their side. Erebor is a renamed Nazgul. All right, in fifth, we have Vagabonds with 1,500, or sorry, 1,050. Prestige, 1,050. Property value, 35 triumphs. Population is 172. Partisans is the lead with Sephira at their side. Yeah, I blame the Russians. That's, that's good. I like that. All right, 600, or let, <laughs> rank six. With 900. Man, I read that upside down. That's weird. That's Hibernia. That's us. Um, we have property value of 30. Population of 257. Goshki is the lead with Goshki Dub and Odin at their side. 
In seventh, we have the sewer management department with 600 total war score. Their prestige is zero. I don't know why. Something's just jacked with this. And there's, look at that. It says 900. I don't even know. I'm going to fix it. I promise. Rat Dynasty is the lead with uh, Austerian Legion at their side. Yeah, it's so broke. I'm sorry, guys. I must apologize. In eighth, no evil. 14,850. Prestige is 450. Property value is 90. Population 250. Speak is the lead with here and C at their side. Coming in at ninth, we have Mark of Cain, 300 total war score. Prestige is 300. Property value of 10. Population is 33. Black Handed Nod is the lead. And then in 10th, let's see, click. Come on, load. There we go. We have I-Team, Yellow Turbans, White Wing Watch, all free agents at the moment. If you're looking for allies, these might be them. Be sure to check them out. Now, if I still have you guys with me, I did pony up the money to get the rest of the Cloudwing Valley Discord a tiny URL. We now have a tiny URL for the Cloudwing Valley Discord. Now, it is not a place for toxicity. I do not allow it. Um, I do want you to enjoy each other's company. And, uh, you know, if you're really wanting the toxicity, there is a second channel that's available for you. But we try to keep it off the main channel. That's mostly about helping people. So if you need help, please come on over. We'd love to help you. In any case, I look forward to showing you the, uh, the credits this time. I, I did a lot of work on these credits. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, have a good one. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next week and on Tuesday. It should be a lot of fun. In any case, see y'all later.